Welcome to Honest Review by Jeff View. Today we're looking at the brand new Amazon Kindle Fire. $199 from Amazon right now. Actually it's $199.99. Whatever. Now I just got this yesterday and I will say I really like it. You know, it's compact, it has a good build to it. It's very kind of like, you know, has a very plain Jane type of design, but you know, it works. So let's get into it. Now, what Amazon's done is they have their own little carousel. So basically I have all my apps here and basically you just go through this carousel. If you want to go to your apps, you know, if you want to go to videos, websites, everything is right here. So it's pretty cool. I really like it actually. It's very understated, but it's very very simple to follow. Okay. Now, as far as the app store is concerned, I'm just going to go to. So, here are the apps that I have installed. Now, one thing you can't do is there's a lot of apps that are not on here. It's only Amazon. What Amazon's done is basically taken the best apps according to them and put them in the market. And what they're doing is every day they're basically just going to add, you know, the best apps to the market. So, you're not going to find like hundreds of thousands of apps like in the Android market which I thought was kind of a bummer but you know it's not too bad I mean again Angry Birds Fruit Slice Facebook IMBD G4 what else Netflix Pandora so it's pretty cool alright now let's go to the store so here's how they have it set up right here. Okay, so basically you have the top free. All right here. MapQuest, Bubble Buster. So it's not bad, Yahoo Mail, Solitaire. And then you have basically over here, let's go over here, top paid. So it's similar to how Android has its market, top paid, top free. Not as um, not as cool, not as clean looking, but it gets the job done. It's very simple. If you want to go to new games, entertainment, lifestyle, everything's right there. Okay. So again, it's very understated, but it works. Okay. Now, also one thing I like about this is basically, if you want to go home, you have your home button right here, back, search button. Okay, and then you have your settings right there. So if you want sync, more, Wi-Fi, brightness, brightness is almost, let's say brightness is almost maxed out. The screen is actually pretty good. I mean, for $199.99, yeah, does it have a shortcomings? Of course it does. But for 200 bucks, it's a pretty good tablet. All right. So let's get into the Amazon stuff, so to speak. So I'm going to go home and let's go to... Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you. Newsstand, books, music, video, docs, apps, web. Now, I don't personally read, but I'll tell you, with this, I may actually start reading. Because if you get the Amazon Kindle, I believe they give you three months on Amazon Prime. So if I go to books, okay, I already basically got these three books right here. Oh, I guess it doesn't move. So it's just kind of like a bookshelf, so to speak. So if you're like me and like choose your own adventure books from the 80s, then basically you have your books right here. It's pretty cool. You know, it's not like the iPad where it has that little page effect, but again, it gets the job done. Again, I don't read, but with this Kindle Fire, I may start reading books again, especially if I don't have to pay for them. All right, so if you want to go back home, Click that and then go home. Now one thing I'll say is it's not really that responsive. I mean it does take two or three times, but again, going back to the price, it's one ninety nine ninety nine, two hundred bucks. You know, you could spend five hundred, six hundred dollars on, you know, the iPad or a Galaxy Tab or uh, what else do they have out there? I guess those are the two main ones. But to me, for two hundred bucks, you're getting a pretty decent tablet. Okay, again, very understated. I love the carousel. You can also get, let's go to. 
you, so you have all your shows right here, Arrested Development, movies, first run movies you can buy. So if I click on, let's say, Bride, Bridesmaids if I want. I can rent it and more purchase options. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So let's go back one. Here are the TV shows, King of the Hill, 24. And again, a lot of these are free. For example, if I click Arrested Development, it's, a, it's free, otherwise it's $2, which is not bad. But you can see all these episodes for free. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Free is always a good word. So let's go to music. So here's all the music. So music is not free, I don't believe. No, thirteen dollars for an actual for the whole CD. So you can see everything right here. You can get the Eminem show for seven bucks. So everything's right here: the Amazon Music, movies, TV, books, everything. So I really like that. I think that's really cool how they integrated everything very simply. And the battery life has been very good too. I've been going almost nonstop for the last day, so it's been very, very good. And it wasn't fully charged. Let's go back. Docs, video, music, books. Let's go to newsstand. Also, you can get magazines. You heard all the magazines you can get. Now, you have to buy most of these magazines. Some of them are free. Some of them have trials. Okay, so, again, it's, it's pretty cool. USA Today, Star, 17, Maxim, which is pretty cool. So... Again, I love the integration, what they did. Okay, now, all right. So let's go to the web. And the browser is good. It's not great, it's good. It's pretty fast. Again, for $200, I'm going to keep saying it because it's only $200 for a 7-inch tablet. All right, to get a 7-inch tablet, the playbook alone is $300 and doesn't have the apps that this thing has. Okay. So let's go to a site. Let's say we go to... Let me go to Boy Genius Report. See it's going. Now this Kindle file uses what's called the Silk Browser by Amazon. It's supposed to cache all the uh, sites that you have. The more you visit it, you know, it's supposed to come up quicker. That's, I guess, the theory. Something like that. So, I mean, some sites pop up really fast. Other sites take 40 seconds to a minute. You know, so this one is going. Still going. Done. Now one thing I'll say is the scrolling, it's a little laggy, but again, it's $200. What do you expect? I anticipate that Amazon is gonna update this. It's gonna be a lot smoother experience. I think they're gonna sell a whole bunch of these because again, it's 200 bucks seven inches has a good feel in the hand and it's very well built okay here's the pinch and zoom not bad a little off pretty good though okay so let's see let's go to games let me show you how the sound sounds on this let me zoom out let me go to apps angry birds so you can see how the game plays. The sound is very good, also, by the way. Much better. It's even better than my Evo 3D. It's not saying much, but it's really good. I thought it was very... I can't really see here. So... I'm going to cut this review short because it's already gone 11 minutes. But listen, if you're looking for a tablet and you don't want to spend $500, $600 on an iPad, and you want a 7-inch tablet that's easily you know, portable and you can bring anywhere, and it has access to thousands of books, magazines, music, TV shows, movies, apps, games, and a good web browser, this is for you. Again, I personally love the carousel that they have because it's so simple. Anybody can use this okay just everything is right here okay 
Now, what I'm hearing is a lot of people are actually able to put the Android market on here, okay, which I'm gonna try to do at some point as well, because that would really make this the ultimate tablet, okay? But overall, I would probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. Really solid, good sound, great hardware. It's a little laggy at times, but again, it's $200. Okay, for $200, you can do a lot worse. I haven't played with the Nook uh, color tablet. I don't know how that is, but Amazon, I know, is a lot better than Barnes & Noble. And again, I love the integration here. I think it's, it's excellent. So, um, and let's just go to the keyboard so you can see the keyboard as well. Keyboard is very good, I like it. It's very responsive, very spacious, very easy. Again, it's, it's seven inches. So you can see there's only, that's basically powers it on, powers it off, puts into sleep mode. And then you have USB, and then you have a three and a half jack. So I haven't listened to music through it yet, but again, it's got a good weight to it, but you know, look, one-handed. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, so I can hold this with one hand. It's backwards. So you can kind of see. So that's it. Amazon Kindle Fire. Highly recommend it. You can't go wrong. Thank you very much.